Welcome to Winchester News Online with Joey Lipscomb. Hello and welcome to Winchester News Online. These are today's top stories. Winchester's traffic misery set to continue. Can students make a difference in the local elections? And rain cancels local derby for the third time. Students and staff who commute are facing delays getting into the city with the closure of a major road. Stuart Appleby went to find out how the roadworks are affecting commuters. One of the busiest routes into Winchester city centre has caused disruption for commuters. Network Rail are rebuilding the St Cross Tunnel to allow modern freight containers to travel through, forcing the road to be out of action until March the 31st. But the new travel improvements have not pleased everyone. I spoke to a commuting Winchester University student. Well, St Cross was obviously the main route I take into university, so uh, now I've had to find an alternative route. Now I've got to take a, a route which isn't as efficient as uh, as going down St Cross. It's a longer route now, so you know, taking more petrol, which is which is costly. I'm having to leave a lot earlier, and I do pick up um, one of my university friends. So you know, I mean, if I get there too early, I'm just hanging around waiting. So it is an inconvenience. You know, obviously the congestion. You've got to check, you know, where the congestion is and possibly plan your route around that. The knock-on effects of it are there to see. Local businesses have also been affected. We've significantly lost, um, well, up to half our trade that we would normally have. Um, so we're finding it really difficult at the moment. I'm a bit frustrated because no one's offered any help. So everyone's just gone, no, it took a lot of work just to get some signs made from um, highways to advertise the fact that the pub and the fish and chip shop were still open. Um, I know that the fish and chip shop are really struggling as well. Um, he's just sort of quietly getting on with it. But, um, it's a difficult, difficult time. There will be some disruption while we carry out this important work, but we can assure the people of Winchester that we do what we can to keep it to an absolute minimum. Stuart Appleby, Winchester News Online, St Cross. We've all seen one of these at the cinema, but instead of telling you to turn your phone off, Orange are hanging up on one of its main stars. It has been revealed that Steve First, actor and comedian, has been released from his contract with mobile company Orange. For the last six years, he has starred as one of the leading roles in the Orange cinema adverts. But without him, does this mean the end of the adverts altogether? He graduated from King Alfred's College, now called the University of Winchester. Steve came back to give students a talk and advice session. Winchester News Online got an exclusive interview. I'd say, I mean, in many ways, the Orange ads have been great because it's six years, a week every year. It's no longer, so I'm a bit sad. I've just been told it's no longer. Um, of being flown out to LA stay in an amazing hotel, work with one of my best friends and then meet all these people. That's probably the best job ever. And when we asked Orange whether the advert would continue to run, an Orange spokesperson gave a statement saying, they are not getting rid of it, they are exploring new avenues for creative executions. Conservative candidate Steve Bryan has told Winchester News Online that more needs to be done by the local council to ensure a higher turnout of student voters at the forthcoming elections. John Hopley reports. Local MPs are insisting that students must vote this summer to represent both the local constituency and national parliament. But with many students unaware that they can vote in Winchester, the city council don't appear to be doing enough to drive home the significance of their vote. Here in Winchester it's close, it's a marginal seat. Your vote really does have the power here in Winchester to change the government of this country. And that's quite an exciting thing. The council have the responsibility as the, as the voting authority to make sure people are aware and can register. They can always do more. It's a question of engaging with you in the university by advertising, by having someone specifically dedicated to look at um, the issue of student voting and to spread the word in whatever way we can. I think we perhaps need to put a little bit more in the press, if, uh, in the press that students read. We perhaps haven't had specific um, um, measures to go and look at how we engage students to vote. On a local level, Winchester has had very close calls in voting polls in the past, with the 1997 local election seat being won narrowly by the Liberal Democrats by just two seats. Those students who are unaware that they can vote in Winchester will certainly miss out on the chance to secure their say 
if the council do not put out more information. John Hopley, Winchester News Online. Police would like to speak with a male suspect in connection with an indecency incident that happened in Winchester. The suspect approached a group of four boys between 10 and 12 years old and made indecent remarks. Officers have released an EFIT image of the suspect. If you recognise the man or have any information on the incident, you can contact police. And now it's over to Glenn with the sport. He cancelled for the third time last night due to a waterlogged pitch. The referee called the match off an hour and a half before kick-off, leaving split views as to whether it was the correct decision. It's uh, chucking it down with rain at the moment. Uh, the pitch is waterlogged down both wings. Uh, and in, in this bottom goal mouth, it's quite waterlogged. Uh, so I had to make a decision on not a, whether we could start the game, but more importantly, whether the game would finish. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Um, uh, lads were well up for it after the result we got Saturday. Uh, I think it would have been a good time to play them, maybe. Uh, conditions were poor, but that could have made even the game up. So, yeah, over, overall, we're a bit, a bit disappointed about it. Could have given it maybe another half hour, hour, see if it st stops. Give it to at least half seven and then call it off. A couple of um, injuries which we had from Saturday, so, um, you know, it's a shame. The morale was good going into the match. Um, but the uh, personnel could have been a bit stronger. Portsmouth won 4-1 in the FA Cup fifth round game against rival Southampton. Trouble marred the tie with 11 arrests being made and more likely to follow. Non-league results now and Eastleigh struggled to a 2 all draw against Western Supermare on Saturday. Western's player manager scored 10 minutes from time to gain Western a point. The local derby between Bournemouth and Winchester also ended in a draw, the game finishing 1-0 after Zach Glassball scored a late equaliser for Winchester. There was an upset during AFC Totten's 4-1 win over Gosport Borough on Saturday. Gosport's young striker Rob Tambling collapsed, collapsed due to a suspected heart attack. Tambling, who had been having tests on his heart before the game, collapsed in the penalty box. Gosport manager Alex Pike said that Tambling was convulsing and his breathing was very shallow. We lost the pulse and he stopped breathing. Tambling eventually regained consciousness before being taken to Southampton General Hospital and is now at home resting with his family. That's all for the sport this week and now back to Joey. One of Winchester's celebrity sons returned to the city to host a charity quiz at the weekend. Our very own egghead Claire Ice Brandy was there. Kevin Ashman, star of BBC Two's Eggheads, swapped roles on Saturday when he hosted Winchester's big quiz at the Guild Hall in aid of the Mayor's charities. I think everybody likes quizzes and you just have to look around and see uh, how many pubs, clubs and any other type of institution you care to name stage them every week. They're very, very popular and the number of people who take part in them every week up and down the country runs into the hundreds of thousands, must do. So um, I think it's always a banker. I quite enjoy asking the questions because I've done it for a number of mainly charity events now um, over the years. I've got two charities this year uh, and the, 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 they're connected by their theme which is homelessness. I've got a charity called Trinity which is a day centre for homeless people and it's where they go during the day after they've had to leave the night shelter or after they've been sleeping rough. They have access to medical services there. And then there's a Emmaus, it's a community where people are invited to come and live and work and they have to forego all their other benefits except housing benefits which go straight to the community and they have to work in the community and they restore furniture and sell it and they're self-sufficient self self -sufficient from there on. The event raised just over a thousand pounds. The Mayor hopes that this event will be the first of many. Clarice Brandy, Winchester News Online. That's all for this week and for the latest stories log on to winnell.co.uk.